Hey good people, welcome to my channel and today I'm so glad to show us on how to design an election poster using Photoshop. In my previous video I was able to show us on how to remove a background from a photo. Uh, so let's get started. So let's create a new document, we'll go to print and select a 3 size, click OK and now first thing I will add is a logo so that I can, can get the colors, I'll pick the color from the logo here so let me just adjust that logo and place it there. Next let's go to rectangular tool and draw a rectangular shape at the top here. And let me remove the stroke and I want to fill it by double clicking on the layer and fill it with green like that. Now next thing I want to I want to draw another rectangular shape just below here. So I will draw it like that. Then okay. So press Ctrl T or go to Edit, trans Free Transform, Edit, Free Transform, and then just adjust uh, your shape. You can right click and choose Warp or you can just click if your Photoshop gives you this option at, at the top here, you can use that one. Let me right click and then click and choose warp. So I will try to warp this shape to form a curve like that. So you can just try to play around with that until you achieve what you really want. Uh, for me, let me just leave it for that just for this tutorial. And once you're done with that, let us now also see. We made a mistake so let me just adjust it again like that okay that's okay and then let us now place another image of the, of the aspirant so let's go to place and let's choose our png remember our png image we created in our last class and i'll drag that layer to be below the, the rectangular shape we created so this is our image I will also drag this logo to be the topmost layer and now let me make my let me make this image to be a little bit smaller I'm just adjusting like that so I think this is okay yeah that's okay I can leave it there yeah so now let us create another background just below the image so let's draw another rectangular shape just below the image and fill it with another different color so you can fill it with either a solid color like that or you can decide to choose a gradient so under gradients here or if you go to your colors and then when you choose gradient tool so gradient tool then you will see these gradients just double click on this one To get the the gradient now under the fill double click on each bucket to change its color so let's choose that color and then double click on the other one also let us choose the same same color but now I want to increase the opacity a little bit like that if it's okay now we can proceed you can also try to play around with the with the angle to see which one is the best so you can even put zero and see that, that is not okay so let's try let's remove that okay so let's just leave it as it is like now and now back to our layers let's now uh, start arranging our stuff here first we need to 
write the name of the aspirant so I will tick this auto select here select my rectangle and type a text so I will increase the size on character if you don't see this character you just go to window and ensure that character and then you click on character it will open up the character panel so here you can play around with the font size and font type so let us use at 64 and uh, let us write the name of the aspirant and just uh, guess the name call it Jane Jane James so that, that's a simple, uh, an example name and now let's drag that name so we can just drag these two layers to be at the top like that so let us now transform our name move our name to be top there and change the font change the colors long so we can use the name we can add another name there uh, so James okay in cups so let me just delete this name Let's now draw a tick for what? So we'll go to pen tool. I'll select pen tool and I will I will ensure it does not have a fill but only the stroke. I'll choose a stroke of about say 18. And then I will draw a tick like that. And then Let's also adjust the size. I think that is okay. And okay. Uh, I think we can renew the tick. Let it be like that. That seems a little bit good. Let's now draw a rectangle. little bit above the tick. Let's, let's draw it somewhere here. I will hold shift to ensure that it is a perfect circle. A perfect square I mean. It's a square. So just adjust that. Let's adjust our tick. Now let us rasterize our square by right click and just then choose rasterize rasterize layer and choose one of the tools here and let us now cut a section to delete some part of this. that so we can now take the two you can merge the layers if you want or you can group them so let us adjust this to go almost the size of the logo so you can bring one here so it's almost the same yeah and now move it here then I will write another text Say what? 
what gen Put it here control T and to transform it like that I will change the color so back to my character if you can't see the character I say you go to window then you ensure character is selected so I will give it black shade like that so far so good now here let us now duplicate these layers and form um, let us duplicate it twice so I will press ctrl J to duplicate it twice let me hide the top one and this one let me fill it with a white shade of color like that and I will drag it to me on the bottom of this and I will use the navigation keys the up key up arrow key to move it a little bit up I will unhide this one also and fill it with a different color like that I will also drag it to be like that and use the navigation keys also to navigate around it like that so it's like that you can also press con command G on the keyboard choose warp and then you can also warp, warp it like this if you want and try to choose a bit dark color so let us leave it like that so once you're done let's now write another text just on top of this so you want to write mp Shanzu constituency so let us bring it down here you can feel it like the shade of white Then down here you, there's a couple of things you can do, but for now let me just draw a rectangular shape there with no stroke but with a feel of white. And I write a text. Let me write a text say the visionary. Okay, let me, we can just write either a hashtag, a slogan face to like that for sorry in caps for better housing for better housing and infrastructure infrastructure like that Let's change the fill to black, then bring it down here, command T to transform it to fit there, like that, click OK, just ensure it's centered. You can try to, uh, to play around with the fonts, can just try to see which font will work will, uh, will appear well here so let's just do random choosing of the fonts okay let me just choose that I don't mean that is the best font to use here but uh, you know you just find the font that fits you well for this design so let us try to increase the spacing between the two between the letters is too much you can try 50 okay that is it
so we have done that you can try to do some many, many things for example you can add another line separator here and fill it with white or you can fill it with this color you press alt to duplicate it this line is selected press alt to duplicate it it's in that way and then i can write something here so if you want to write say more text let me change the font to our default font was myriad myriad pro Command T. Good. So that's how you can create a poster in very simple steps. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, but I just noticed there's some misalignment of this. by mistake so let's delete it so guys that's how simple you can create uh, an election poster using photoshop so i will share this this project with you in the link description below so feel free to use it in your own